series in uh, franchise history. Bailey and Lynch. Third down, Leftwich goes deep, has man coverage along the far sideline, incomplete. Jimmy Smith and Champ Bailey, and Jimmy's told the press all week long, listen, I know Champ's good, but I'm hoping that my quarterback will continue to throw my way. And you've got to worry about Champ Bailey. He'll lay off. He'll bait you. He wants the quarterback to throw the football. Fires back to work at their own 26. Leftwood, three-step drop. The 46-yard line, Jimmy Smith beat Champ Bailey, but oh, Champ was on him like a blanket. Just a great grab by Jimmy Smith of 28 yards. Watch number 82. Hey, he lost one in the first last series, but watch number 82 come off the line. Champ Bailey talked about his ability, but number 82 steps up with a big catch. Jacksonville try to go with no huddle, Richard, but there is a challenge by Denver. Jimmy Smith, what a grab. 35 years young, five-time Pro Bowler. Denver's challenging the call on the field that the pass was complete. Jerry Austin will take a look. We'll take a quick break. Did he or didn't he? Down is going to be uh, will be the issue here. It's going to depend on the possession on the second step down. I'm not sure if he has it in his hands as we hear the call now. After reviewing the play, the receiver catches the ball. Left foot hits in. Right foot hits in. Completed catch. Denver is charged for the first timeout. So, so the timeout lost by Denver off the challenge. Yeah, and you know what? Jack Del Rio said they're going to step up, they're going to match, they're going to go one-on-one -on -one against their best as we see Jimmy Smith working down the sidelines. Great concentration. My question was, did he have control on that second step? To the referee, yes, they say it is. The evidence is conclusive. Jimmy Smith on a big catch. Coach in the National Football League, John Gruden, the youngest. Leftwich wants to throw, hot slam. It's caught by Jimmy Smith to the 22-yard line. Jimmy Smith working on Champ Bailey. 10-yard pickup. Which one is the teacher and which one is the student? Number 82, as we talked to Champ yesterday, he said nobody's better in getting off the line of scrimmage. But I think what you're seeing today, folks, is the effects of the chuck roll. They're not up on these receivers. They're getting a couple yards coming off the line of scrimmage. With number 82, that's going to mean a big play every time. Well, we continue to stack track it all afternoon. There's a big grab. Jimmy Smith and Leftwich. Threw that ball on a string, probably his best throw. You've watched him today, Richard, where it, it seems he's been off balance, uh, thrown a little bit back off his back foot, and the ball's floated on it. You know, when you watch him come away from the center, you think it's kind of a lumbering effect, but I'm going to tell you what, folks, right? Watch the windup of the throw, but the deeper the throw, if the accuracy he brings and the speed of the football. But number 82 right now is having a lesson for Champ Bailey. Going right at the best in the National Football League. 45 straight games with a catch. That one covered 31 yards. Three receptions, 69 for Jimmy Smith. Once more, and this time left with strong arm, a little bit too strong. Now, in talking to Byron, he had mentioned to us the other day that he lives a few houses down from Jimmy Smith. Now, I'm not trying to spread rumors here, folks. You know, there looks like there's a little team, there's a little hood back and forth here, but I'll tell you what, number 82, 35 years of age and still showing he can get over the top, the speed. This week had four catches and that went up in Buffalo today. Three grabs, Richard, 69 yards. 28-yard reception, a 10, and a 31-yarder. And you see his ability to get off the line of scrimmage, whether it's a quick step or hand movement, people coming out of the breaks. I think right now you're seeing the effects of the no-chuck rule. Champ Bailey can't quite get up in his face. Holding, 24 defense. Champ Bailey. Champ, Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey's had a tough day. Bottom of your screen, number 24. You see the jam. Now after five yards, you've got to let him go. He grabs the jersey, and that's the new rule they're going to call. They're not going to let you grab that jersey after the receiver goes by. You got it. Leftwich, shotgun, 
Pressure, throws. Complete! And then dropped, but complete to Jimmy Smith. Nope, nope. now they're going to wave it away. They waved it off. Now this is where Del Rio needs the mouthpiece. He's uh, he's chewing them, and he wants. Yeah, look at here it goes. Nice toss. Challenge is on. Jacksonville has challenged a call on the field of an incomplete pass. Been a busy day for that man, Jerry Austin. There's 82, Jimmy Smith, 12 years in the league, only 35. <laughs> only 35, and still <laughs> running like a rookie. But number 82, it's. Well, you're not sure. After he got hit, did he take a step? And from that look, you could not see the angle of the camera. This one might be a better look. We can see if he has control when he goes to the ground. That's going to be the deciding factor. Did you see the big hit by Jim, Jimmy Lynch? He had control of the football. John Lynch on oh. the hit over the middle. And, you know, we talked to John Lynch, and one of the things he said when he was at Stanford, he had some of the old... San Francisco 49ers like Ronnie Lott coming to talk to him. Knocking After heads. reviewing the play before the receiver can get his second foot clearly on the ground, the ball comes loose. The ruling incomplete pass is correct. Jacksonville has charged their first time out. Take a look at it again and coming across the middle. Jimmy Smith at this point, it looks like he has it, but right now, it looks. It looked mm. like he had, it looked like the second foot was down. I'm not sure what that camera angle is showing him, but it looked like the second foot was down on the ground when he had it. If the Broncos knew why, if they continue to try to push the ball, it's on the deck. Griffin fumbled. Set the tempo of the game. Today they did it again. That's why they came out on top. They game balls all around for that defensive front. Give it to everyone. Give it to the offense. Give it to the whole coaching staff, the owners. Give it to everyone in Jacksonville. A great game today for the Jaguars. Home of Super Bowl 39, and you get that atmosphere as this crowd makes their way to the gates. Jaguars win 7-6 to move to 2-0.